Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Soji Gray and welcome to the device hub. If you're new here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below so that anytime a new video is released, you're going to be updated instantly. I hope you had an amazing week. I did enjoy my week. My week was amazing. And I just want to start a new episode on the device hub. So I've been using Mac OS for a very long time. And you know, throughout that process, I've been able to come across some amazing apps. And I just wanted to start like uh, best Mac apps of the month. And I'm going to be sharing with you all the time, every month, three of my favorite apps from the Mac, you know, operating system. And I don't want to do more than three because I just don't want to overwhelm you with a lot of apps. So I'm just going to give you three that you can actually download, you can try out and then decide if it's truly for you. And just let me know in the comment section down below if you're going to find this video very helpful. Also, if you do have, you know, any Mac app in mind that you want me to talk about, just feel free to let me know down in the comment section below. So without talking so much, let's jump into the video. You know, I remember back in the day when I was on the Windows platform, IDM used to make my life very easy. For those of you who don't know what IDM is, it is a download manager that is very convenient, fast and reliable. Unlike download managers built into internet browsers, IDM could pause and continue downloads with ease. Truth be told, I almost got frustrated when I moved to the Mac OS platform because I didn't really find anything like IDM and I mean the experience with browser downloaders was not really great and it really frustrated me but fortunately after some research i found free download manager and it made my life so easy again as the name suggests this app is free and in fact has no ads on the surface it looks good and very simple to use plus you can switch between light and dark modes at the core free download manager allows you to download different types of files from an array of sources it also has extensions for chrome opera and firefox browsers which honestly makes downloading files from the web stress free if you want to make your digital download life awesome this year try free download manager out i can assure you that you're not going to regret it and with that being said let's move to the next app you know having details of your mac's battery life at a glance to me is very important that way i can tell when something bad is about to happen to my macbook an app that easily helps me do this is Battery Monitor. This app helps you easily access and monitor battery information from your menu bar or notifications panel. I like that it shows you the design capacity of your Mac's battery from factory as well as your current full capacity so you kind of know the rate at which your battery is deteriorating. Aside from that, you get details of your battery condition and charge cycles. Finally, you can freely toggle light and dark mode. I really love those options. Like, I really love dark mode, but then sometimes I want to use light mode. So having that, you know, uh, customization is very awesome. This app is free to download from the App Store, but make sure to check the link I'm going to leave in the description section because, you know, there are a lot of free download manager names, but the apps are different. So if you want to get this exact one, make sure to check it through my link in the description below. Moving on to the third and last app. If you're a designer out there, you're probably familiar with Figma. Figma is a UI UX design app that has code generation, high fidelity mockup, and interactive prototyping capabilities that is used to design apps, web pages, and vector illustrations. It is a browser-based tool that can be used on any OS at all, but most importantly, it has a Mac app, which is very amazing. Figma always runs online, even if you download the app, which is why it is so great for real-time team collaborations. Figma has a lot of free assets you can use to create mockups for apps and websites, which is a great thing for such a useful app. I found it very simple to use, but if you find it a bit confusing, do well to check out some Figma beginner tutorials on YouTube will give you a head start in getting used to the app. So there you have it guys, three of my best Mac apps for the month of January. And let me know what you think about these apps, whether you found them very useful. Let me know how you know your experience was with these apps down in the comment section below. Also, if you do want to suggest to me a Mac app you'd want me to talk about in February, let me know as well in the comment section below. It's your boy Swaji Gray, and thanks for watching this episode of the Device Hub. I will catch you guys in another one. Stay blessed.